Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to balance your iPhone Edge Wildcat 2 stabilizer. And this has markings on here, so you could write down the place where you've connected it if you really want. Personally, I don't bother. So then you're going to want to pull these out, spin this little red thing, lock it in place. Now before you start balancing, you do need to remember to position your monitor the way you want it, because moving the monitor will change the balance. You need to remember to set your zoom the way you want it, and of course make sure you have the battery in there, because if you balance it without the battery, then put the battery in, your balance is going to change. So basically have the camera ready to go, then balance it. And if you have a lens that extends when you turn the camera on, then turn the camera on, then balance it. So first of all, we're gonna to need to figure out how many weights we need to use. So as a rough guide, if you're using a 5D with a big lens, then you're gonna want all the weights, including the big ones. If you're using something like the A7S with a medium-sized lens, then you're gonna want either just the medium-sized weights or the medium plus the small ones. And then if you're using something like a GoPro or an iPhone, you're gonna want just the small ones or none at all. The way to figure that out is to find the correct number of weights that allow you to have the camera flip upside down when you have the pole at its shortest position, but where the camera flips the correct way up when you have the pole in its fully extended position. If you don't manage to find that, then the slightly more difficult way is to find the correct number of weights that allow you to position the pole somewhere in the middle to get around a three second drop time. So for example, right here, something like that. So I'm going to bring the weights roughly to the correct position that allows this thing to drop down fairly slowly and then I'm going to start adjusting the top plate. So what I'm going to do is make sure that my camera is aiming forward and sort of uh, positioned straight on the quick release plate and then over here I've got the forward back adjustment and the left right adjustment. I'm going to slightly unlock those and unlock this piece right here. And this piece is just a little thing that allows you to remember your position so that you can release the camera from it and then bring it back to the exact same position without rebalancing it. One very important thing to remember here is that if you turn this slightly too much, then the camera is gonna actually release from this. So you need to be careful when you do that. So I'm gonna lock it and then move it back just a tiny bit so that it allows it to move backwards and forwards. So that it allows you to push it back and forth, but that, so that it's not free moving and just moving on its own. So for example, right now, it's leaning too far back. So I'm gonna push the camera forward just a tiny bit and then check again. That's roughly correct. And then the left right adjustment, I'm gonna look at it and I'm gonna see that it's tilting a tiny bit to the left. So I'm gonna adjust that by moving the camera to the right and then check again. And I've moved it too far. So I'm gonna push it back. That's almost correct. Whichever direction it's leaning towards, you're gonna to wanna to move it back the opposite direction. Now this does have markings here, here, and here, so that you can remember the place that you were before and just bring it to the same number and be balanced again. But this thing doesn't take very long to balance, so you can just balance it based on how it's floating. So that's roughly correct. And then I'm gonna check my drop time and I'm aiming for around three seconds. So that's one, two, it's around two and a bit. So I'm going to bring it up just a tiny bit, meaning shorten the pole just a tiny bit, which would allow it to drop a tiny bit slower. About a two to three second drop time is fine. There it is. Now it's balanced. So I will have another video about how to change the oil here. If you want to see that, I will have a link to my full review down below as well. And I'll have another little video about how to fly this thing as well. You know, how to move with your body, how to hold it. So uh, see the links to those videos down below. And of course, if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comments and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Visit my channel for lots more awesome filmmaking and photography videos like lighting techniques, DIY projects, behind the scenes tutorials, cameras, lenses, adapters, shoulder rigs, stabilizers, flashes, LEDs, microphones, bags, straps, studio backgrounds, tripods, float heads, sliders, multi-tools, and lots more cool stuff.